And funding is a big issue in South Africa where fees must fall, a demand for subsidized uh, educational uh, uh, experience is, uh, is becoming louder and louder. And how do we make sure that uh, as we move forward, we are going to be able to finance all our activities? Firstly, 40% uh, of about 42% of our income comes from fees. Another 42% actually comes from, uh, uh, from uh, government subsidy. And the balance, which is about 18%, uh, actually comes from uh, 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 what we call third stream income. That picture must change. Uh, the university is going to have to increase third stream income. And I'm going to talk about some of the mechanisms that we're going to put into place to increase uh, third stream income so that we can be able to give our students world-class education w in a world-class uh, environment which is, uh, which is adequately, uh, 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 you know, in the infrastructure is absolutely first class. So, uh, and what are some of the elements that I'm thinking about to increase this third stream income? We have to take the University of Johannesburg into industry and we may have to bring industry into uh, the University of Johannesburg. Resolution Circle is an organization that uh, we have created to do specifically that. Uh, as a person who started my career in industry, as an, uh, as an ex junior executive at South African Breweries, I think I'm well posed to be able to take the University of uh, Johannesburg into industry and to bring industry into the University of Johannesburg. Uh, the second thing that we're going to do, we're going to mobilize our alumni, prominent alumni to invest, not donate, invest uh, uh, to the University of Johannesburg. Uh, we're going to use what we call uh, ideas that have been generated uh, uh, in our research domain. Uh, we're going to commercialize them, we're going to uh, uh, license uh, them. Uh, we're going to, uh, to, to, to basically take them to industry and uh, in the process be able to raise enough money uh, to support all these ideas that I've just talked about. And then also uh, we're going to use our connections with some of the big high net worth individuals in the country and outside the country to persuade them to come to the University of Johannesburg to invest uh, in our academy, to invest in our research, and to invest in our teaching and learning. And we need to, we will only be able to do this if we work closely as students and staff, both uh, academic and support, uh, with all our key stakeholders, whether it is the SLC, whether it is, the, it is our unions, to make sure that we take the University of Johannesburg into the fourth industrial revolution within the context of the global excellence and stature strategy that has served us so well in the last 12 years. I thank you.